Just watched a woman wipe out because her daughter spilled a soda and she tried to act like it didn't happen. When have you witnessed sweet justice? I work as a manager at a restaurant and one night I had a guest loudly telling his server that if his fries were cold, he was going to send them back so she'd better make sure it was hot. I made sure his fries were straight out of the deep fryer and I personally brought out his meal. I guess all the other tables seated around him were watching to see his reaction after his loud performance that he would send his food back. So I put the meal down and he took one look and dramatically sighed and said the fries were cold. I replied, I'm sorry sir but they're not, now he's mad and loudly said, they're cold. I can tell just by looking at them. I replied again, the fries are hot, so he says, oh really, he dramatically picked up a fry and held it between his thumb and forefinger, he held it in front of his own face while locking eyes with me and squeezed his fingers together, what came next was something that continues to fill my heart with joy 6 years after it happened, he let out a surprise shout of pain and dropped the fry onto the table, the tables around us who had been watching started laughing and clapping, his face turned red, he put his head down and didn't say another word. I just smiled and said, enjoy your meal and walked away. When I drive to Richmond, I tend to run into some traffic, especially after dark. A lot of people will try to drive on the shoulder to get around the traffic. On three separate occasions, I've seen 18 wheelers drive halfway on the shoulder just to cut them off. It's glorious. Not only do they cut them off, they kick up every tiny rock and pelt the person's car, possibly damaging it. It's a classic way truckers deal with tailgaters since they can't brake check them. This is a story that A.A. Gill wrote about in his book The Angry Island, so not mine, but it is wonderful. At a ski lift in Switzerland, the gondolas to the mountain top hold about 4 people and the skiers are required to clip their skis to the outside before sitting down inside. There is a long queue of English skiers patiently, as is the British thing of waiting their turn to catch the next lift. Four German skiers turn up and barge past the queue laughing at the English and take the next gondola as it arrives. The English tourists are too polite to do anything other than mutter under their collective breaths, while the Germans point and laugh from inside. Just as the gondola is about to depart, a man about halfway down the queue calmly walks up to the gondola and unclips the queue barges skis and places them on the platform. The Germans can only splutter in rage as the gondola starts its inexorable climb to the mountain top, without their skis. That's beautiful. I had a lady spill her drink in my store, and didn't try to clean it up. She simply looked at me and said, well, at least now you'll have something to do. She was about to reach the door when she dropped her phone. When she reached down to get it, her pants ripped, like, no salvation kind of ripped. I just stood there with my mop and shrugged at her. I used to work on one of the rides at Rainforest Cafe. They have a mini boat ride you can go on and ride through an animatronic jungle with narrative playing on the speakers. The boats have a weight limit, so we can only let a certain amount of people on. And bigger people tend to make the boat lean to one side. Well, one day this family for five pretty big people want to ride all together. We try to explain to them that we have to split them up because the boats tend to take on water when overcrowded. One lady took extreme offensive to us calling her fat, which we didn't. But hey who are we kidding here? Raised heck and chewed into my co-workers butt, caused a bit of a scene and demanded that they all ride on the boat together. I'm operating the ride and the employee on the other side looks to me, and I give him the nod. Well, they all load onto the boat which rests on a conveyor belt. I start the belt up and the boat drops into the river with a big splash. Some of the people inside get wet, and some water fills into the boat, miraculously they're still floating. On the ride, we have cameras to see into the jungle to see if someone gets out and messes with the animatronics. As I'm watching them, I see the boat start getting lower, and lower, when all of a sudden, the boat begins taking on water like the Titanic. All you can hear are screams blaring over the rolling thunder and animal soundtracks. We had to stop the entire ride and go out to the river to find them all soaking wet and embarrassed as heck, and had to do the walk of shame in front of others waiting to ride. The boat by the way sunk to the bottom of the river, and the ride had to be shut down until we got it out. River is about, 4 or 5 foot deep. TL. DR. Fat lady sinks boat in the rainforest. That's so great. I've never seen a boat at the rainforest cafes I've been to, 
I laughed my butt off picturing how loud the screams must have been to be heard over the gorillas and thunder soundtrack. I've posted this before, but I had three shitheads run out on the check while I was working an overnight shift at a diner. Well, they were pee off some EMTs that came in regularly, but I couldn't kick them out until they became seriously disruptive. Eventually, they did. Sprayed ketchup everywhere. I found out later one of them pee all over the men's room, and as I was going up to them to tell them to get the frick out, they booked it. I would have been responsible for their $50 tab. I made $80 that night. The EMTs were pee at the disruption, and some of them left early on a call. Well, I called the cops on the walkout, and they showed up, but very little could be done. Except the EMTs spotted them, radioed the cops, and they were all brought back to the restaurant to settle the tab and receive a lecture on tipping for services rendered. One of the kids asked if he could use to phone. I denied him, with a laugh, and when he asked the cop for a ride, he laughed at him, too, and stated nap, kid, you're hoofing it. Needless to say, I bought every EMT still in the place their dinner, and footed the bill for the people that had left already the next time they came around. As someone who has worked in the food service industry for years, if a cop fireman EMT gets called away during their meal even if it's 99% finished, I make sure their next meal is on the house. I have gone to bat with management over this a few times, and always won. Working in the produce department years ago we would have children come through all the time and smash fruit and wreck our displays. This was pretty common and since this was a Walmart the parents never seemed to care. Well one day this little butthole is going right on down the wet case smashing up everything he can get his tiny hands on. Cucumbers, lettuce, kale, throwing turnips, etc. His mom is there and sees what he is doing and makes absolutely no effort to try and stop it. The other employees and I were just standing there watching all this happen because we really can't scold a customer or her kid. Anyways, the kid reaches the hot pepper section, jalapenos, serranos, habaneros, and starts mashing them up in his hands. Now at this point we all saw what he was doing and could have stopped it, but screw it, this kid is going to learn a life lesson. The moment the son finally leave the fresh area and walk on down towards the rest of the grocery store, about 5 minutes after they leave an unholy shrieking pierces through the entire store, the little guy must have rubbed his eyes. We all went down to take a peek and this kid was in the middle of the aisle, writhing on the floor and screaming like he was being murdered. The mother had no idea what was going on, and absolutely nothing would console him. She ended up leaving her cart there and dragging her kid out while yelling at him to shut up. Wash your hands after you handle hot peppers folks. At one point you were just listing vegetables, then you said throwing turnips. I imagined sharp turnips with places to grip them for throwing. When I was younger, like somewhere between 5-7 years old, I had one of those very realistic looking baby doll toys that had a soft body but had hard plastic vinyl arms, legs, and head. I took it nearly everywhere with me, except for elementary school, as that just wasn't allowed because my mom didn't want it to get ruined. Well, one day I'm out shopping with my mom at the grocery store like I normally did with her. I'd put baby clothes on the doll, buckled it into the little seat for kids in the top of the shopping cart and was helping mom push the cart around like that. We go about our shopping just fine. But the moment that we're about to leave with our groceries some random lady shows up and starts screaming at my mom for leaving her baby in the cart and how she's going to call child protective services on her for it. A small crowd started up around us and my mom got really angry and didn't know what the lady was talking about until she pointed at the doll in the cart. It was still buckled in the seat. I had apparently forgotten to take the doll out of the cart. And being a kid at the time I didn't understand the big deal. I just went up to the cart and proceeded to rip the doll's head off and said lady it's not a real baby, it's my dolly. She screamed loudly, stared, got red faced and then split instantly after she realized her mistake. The crowd disappeared and my mom was just chuckling a little, as she dragged me off to the car with our groceries and headed on home. As a note, with soft body hard limb dolls the limbs and or head can easily pop off. I once had an uncle I called Uncle Ugly that used to tear it off all the time. TL, DR, young me rips off a realistic doll's head to prove it's not a real baby to a woman who is shouting she'll call CPS on my mom. I don't remember the exact details of this, 
but my mom told me about a time she and I went grocery shopping together. It was right around the time I was perfecting my counting. My mom and I had just run into the store really quick to pick up a few things my dad was at home with my 6 month old brother, who had bronchitis and a double ear infection and just as we get to the 10 items or less line. This absolute bee of a woman cuts in front of us with clearly too many items for the express line. My mom gave her a really look, and the woman gave her a nasty glare as if to say do something about it. My mom didn't have to do anything about it good old me did my counting thing and announced very clearly for everyone within a 10 mile radius to hear. Mommy, that lady has 19 things the cashier turned to the woman and said well, she's right. The woman muttered something unintelligible under her breath and then got out of line. I remember leaving the store and not understanding what my mother was laughing so hard at. TL. DR. Three year old me called a woman out on having too many things at the 10 items or less checkout line and the cashier had my back. I bet you made that cashier's day. My mother was leaving a parking lot in the right hand lane. Preparing to turn right, a teenage kid and his buddies pulls up in the lane to her left. As soon as the light turns green, the kid hammers the gas and turns right in front of her. A couple miles down the road, she sees the kid at an intersection, standing on the side of the road arguing with another driver. The right side of the kid's car is crumpled around the front end of the other driver's car. She puts on her emergency blinkers and parks behind the accident. She approaches the other driver, who looks distraught because, since his front end is sticking out of the kid's car's side, the accident sort of looks like his fault. By any chance were you in the right lane when this guy decided to make a right turn in front of you? Other driver brightens up. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. He pulled the same stunt on me a minute ago. Here's my card. I'll be happy to tell your insurance company what he was doing. Young punk and his buddies tell my mother to mind her own business as she walks back to her car and drives away. I was in line at the deli counter a few weeks ago. It had one of those number ticket systems. Take a number. Now serving number. This old guy drives up on his little handicap scooter and demands to be served next. Even though I'm the one with the lowest number. Deli guy looks at me. The scooter guy starts to raise his voice. At this point what started as amusement has turned to annoyance and I just crumple up my ticket and go do the rest of my shopping. When I'm through, I go back to the deli counter and the guy working there smiles at me, points towards the front of the store and tells me they just caught the scooter guy shoplifting. I watch as the police come and wheel the bastard away. I don't know how many stories I've heard regarding people speeding right past you and honking flipping you off for going the speed limit, only to be pulled over a little while later, but I patiently await my own experience in this. I work in a grocery store and when we bag groceries we normally wrap all chemicals and cleaning products in a plastic bag. That way, if we decide to bag them with food products, in the event that the chemicals break open and spill, then it won't spill all over the customer's food. Well this one bee decided she wanted nothing to do with plastic bags that day and as I was bagging up her dish soap in plastic, she rips it out of my hand, throws it into a bag in her cart and then proceeds to scream at me for using plastic bags. What she didn't know is when she threw the soap into the bag, it busted open, spilling all over her other groceries. I saw it while she was still at the checkout stand but refused to say anything about it because she was being such a bee. I watched her walk all the way to her car and couldn't help but smile when she started putting her groceries in the trunk of her Bentley Continental GT's trunk and ended up spilling soap all over and inside it. Her face was priceless our justice. Sweet sweet justice. Worries about the environment enough that she flips her crap over a single plastic bag. Drives a massive 6 liter W12 engine Bentley. I've posted this one before, but all my friends have had to hear it at least twice. So here you go. A few years back, my wife and I were driving back from a Christmas trip visiting family in Iowa. There had been a very bad snowstorm, and while the interstate was clear, all the side roads, particularly the less used ones, were very treacherous and unplowed. A little way into the trip, we spot a police car stupidly polishing the ice by spinning its tires and clearly stuck on an on-ramp. The wife was driving, and is an expert snow driver, so we pulled our little Ford Escort up behind the police officer, and got out to help get him moving. Once he was freed, he drove up the on-ramp and stopped on a clean patch. 
probably radioing his dispatcher or something. We got back into our car, and as it turned out, we were pretty stuck as well. I got out a game to push, but wasn't having much luck, so waved at the cop to maybe come help with a shove or two. He rolled down his window, peered back at us, gave the universal shrugging signal for tough break, man, and drove off. 20 minutes later, we'd finally gotten the car back onto the road, and were moving again it wasn't a mile down the road when we passed officer helpful again, this time stuck in the center ditch. The wife slowed down just enough so he could see it was us, as we waved and drove past. What a dong, a proper cop is the first person to help you out of the snow. I work in a Futura shop in Calgary, Alberta in the computer department. One day when I was up near the repair services desk using their till, a man in a suit walks up and slams a receipt with attached service voucher on the counter and proceeds to have a nice little rant. Okay, so I'm here to grab my computer. It should be done. You jackasses have had it for like two freaking weeks now and no one has even thought to call me. I've got no clue what's up with my dang computer. At this point I take a look at his work order and take a look to see if there's any of the techs I can pass this to when I notice something unusual about this guy's paperwork. It's got Best Buy written all over the receipt and the work order. I gleefully point this out to him before he's caught his breath after belittling our IT guys and direct him to the Best Buy our block south of us in the same shopping park. He's completely dumbstruck. Full 5 seconds of silence before he mumbles something along the lines of having a second computer he bought here that one time and then hauls butt the heck out of there. Beat red like a baboon's but that everyone else in line saw him loudly call us out on another store screw up, and my pointing out is selective illiteracy. A swipe was trying to cut around everybody to get through traffic and pee off everyone. So I stopped him by pacing with the people next to me. When he did finally get next to me he was so focused on flipping me off that he didn't see traffic was stopping. So when he took off he smashed right into the back of the cop car that was in front of him. Freaking hilarious every time I think about it. I worked maintenance at Walmart over a summer school break years ago. I had closed one of the bathrooms to clean it and noticed the toilet in the last stall had a crack that ran from the bottom of the bowl to the rim. I called a manager to the bathroom, because I couldn't lift a finger without a manager telling me what to do. This huge woman approaches, doesn't listen when I tell her the bathroom is closed for maintenance, but the other bathroom in back is open. She barges past me, three closed for cleaning signs, the cleaning cart and, of course, chooses the last stall, so she does her business, and at some point, the toilet fails, all over her, she comes out, soaking wet and sputtering mad just as the manager shows up, he looks at her, looks at the signs, looks at me, and makes this face, I just had to run out of the store before I busted a gut laughing, it was a beautiful thing. Watched some idiot in an escalade rear end a super nice beamer in a parking lot, he drove away super quickly and got t-boned running a red light about 30 seconds later. I was a witness and was able to tell the cop about his hit and run too. He was arrested. Justice equals served. This happened on voting day earlier this month. There is an elementary school two blocks from where I live that had voting stations. My fiance and I take our 6 month old son in the stroller for a walk to vote. We got to the school, cast our votes and begin to walk home. At the front of the school there is a street with a white lined pedestrian crossing area. We look to our left at the traffic on our side and see two motorcycle cops pull up and stop to let us cross. We both start walking. When we get into the middle of the street a guy in a flashy SUV from the other side cruises by and does not even slow down. We have to stop in the middle of the street to let him pass. Both cops turn on their lights and wait for us to finish crossing. As soon as we were across, they burn rubber turning around and chase the guy down. Sweet but justice. But justice. My mom and I were out for groceries. As we were finishing up, this one bee who seemed 20 just came and snatched a few things out of our cart and put them into hers. At the same time, her son knocks over the cart while running around with his friend and breaks spills nearly everything in the cart. My mom, a 40 year old Korean woman, proceeds to pat the woman's back while saying das dull life. It was my junior year in high school and I had arrived late. I was waiting in the office to sign myself in when several girls had informed me of pictures going around. 
Walking down the hallway I could see papers taped to the walls of me in lingerie and several of my butt. Luckily, as stupid as I was, I didn't take any boob or frontal nudity pictures. I started to tear down the black and white collages of my mistakes when I passed the teacher's lounge. The room that now had my butt as its wallpaper. I quickly tore down what I could reach and went into class. Class lasted all of 2 minutes before I was called over the intercom to see the principal. No surprise there. As I sat outside his office I watched as police officers brought by trash bags full of photocopies of my pictures. I was counseled by a minister who constantly asked if I was molested in my childhood. My mother was called to the school, and the girl involved was jailed for some time as well as several computer hard drives wiped by the FBI getting involved. Turns out the girl got a hold of all my pictures and tried to embarrass me. Instead she got a record for distribution of child pee. As if that wasn't justice enough, I witnessed her crash her mother's sport car into an SUV at a red light by the high school. She was laughing and causing a scene, and accidentally hit the gas pedal. That was the first time I've ever witnessed karma in action. TL. DR. Girl posted nude pics of me in school, got arrested and I witnessed her crash her mother's sport car shortly after. Pretty much the reverse of most of these stories, but still sweet justice. Also good guy cop, a buddy of mine is driving home late at night, comes to a complete stop at a stop sign in the middle of nowhere, gets pulled over, instead of getting in trouble, the cop says, wow. You had no idea I was sitting there. I never see people do that so late at night. I just wanted to give you credit for it. My friend thanks him and moves on. Sometime soon afterwards, my friend gets pulled over for speeding. Ends up being the same cop and he lets him go. So two women and their children come up to the tech bench at Best Buy simultaneously and want their free computer set up. Which is to basically make sure we don't send them home with one that doesn't work. It takes approximately 15 minutes. So as I begin to unbox one of the computers the other lady starts complaining that she should go first. The two women escalate to shouting and literally striking one another and pulling hair. Now the problem with this should be obvious. I mean really, what kind of display is that for children? Also, there was another tech where you couldn't see him that was about to start the other machine's setup. So I blatantly tell both women that due to the fact that they are acting so rude that I will wait on neither of them. I close the box up and go take my break. So my boss comes back and says that I can't do that and that I need to go out and do it. I say he can fire me but that I will not wait on either women. They ask the manager to call me out so that they can apologize. I don't think I've ever seen more embarrassed women. Red faces. Eyes on floor. I say thank you and begin to walk away. They start to get irate. I respond that just because they apologize to me doesn't mean I have to deal with them. They fumed. And later my boss chewed me out. Although I didn't lose my job. The other tech ended up doing both. So what they gained out of it was a 45 minute wait because the other tech wouldn't give out both until the other one was done. All because they were so selfish that they couldn't just have a couple of minutes of patience. TL. DR. Two women in a rush end up in a fight and I make them wait for 45 m1 hours for service for being rude. Had a customer in store screaming at me because he broke his phone and didn't think he should have to pay for it. He didn't like the options I was giving him and went to storm out of the door. Slammed face first into the window beside the door by mistake. Whole store had a good laugh at his expense. Standing in line at Six Flags for Medusa, a group of ghetto or ratchet teenagers feel superior to half of the line. They settle in front of my group of friends. An hour later they are sitting in the front of the ride waiting for the safety mechanism to secure them in place. The operator asks them to step off because they were accused of cutting. A kid was running through my store and I told him to stop running. Then, he got whatever he needed and ran again not seeing me. He fell hard and I didn't skip a beat and said that's why you don't run in a store. So, I used to work at bar nightclub as a server a few years ago. One night I had a table that was rude, demanding, and of course didn't tip. It was busy night, the bar was packed, and they had me running all night long. All they were ordering were fruity drinks, which tend to be sweet and sticky. So, one of the girls at the table starts dancing and she's thinking she's all sexy and grabs the table so she can balance herself while she dips. 
And as she's dipping, she pulls that table down. And all of those half drunk fruity drinks slide down the table and drench her from head to toe. I mean, this table was packed with sweet, sticky drinks. It was glorious. I watched her mother give her her toddler bubble gum in the checkout line so the kid would stop whining. A customer, unrelated, I'm assuming, told her it was a choking hazard but the mother was obnoxious and told the other customer to mind her own business. Within 3 seconds the toddler had spit the gum into the mother's hair and it was good and there. She was going to have to cut that rat's nest out. No doubt about it. At least the kid didn't choke, right? Yeah, dead babies kind of takes the whole petty comupin thing into an awkward territory. Nothing really says I told you. Oh, like a blue faced infant. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.